Hey guys, in today's lesson video, let's talk about how we can get that good impact position with that forward shaft lean, but we're not gonna focus on our hand position. Instead, we're gonna focus on where our sternum is relative to our swing. And I guarantee you, we're gonna get that good solid contact with that forward shaft lean, but more importantly, we're gonna have very, very good low point control. So if you lack contact in your golf game, I think this will really, really help you improve getting that forward shaft lean, but more importantly, we're not gonna focus on shoving our hands forward. Instead, we're gonna talk about our sternum position, and I'm gonna give you a very easy way we can get that ball first, then turf contact. So what we're gonna do in today's lesson video is, is that we're gonna make around an L golf swing, around 90 degrees, and from this position, we're going to get the golf club back to a straight line, back where it started. So we're gonna go L position, then we're gonna get the golf club back to a straight line, lined up just right into the center of my body. So what we're gonna do is, is that we're not going to shove the hand forward to get that forward shaft lean. Because if we shove our hands forward, yes, we might get that look of getting that forward shaft lean at impact on camera, however, we can't have an athletic golf swing and we're not gonna have a club at speed if we just shove the hands forward. This is not how the professionals do it. Yes, on camera, if you just rewind and go to your impact position, yes, you might have forward shaft lean, but it's not functional. So what we're gonna do in today's lesson video is, like I said, L position, then we're gonna get the golf club back in line with my body. Even golfers who early release and scoops at impact will find this move very easy to do because we're not getting the handle all the way to our left thigh. We're just getting the golf club back to the center of my body. So it's gonna look something like this. Without any body rotation, the golf club is just gonna come back to the center of my body where I started. So from this position, what we have to realize is that the bottom low point of my sternum dictates my low point. So if my sternum is pointed after we rotate to the top of the backswing, if we just stay here, and if we just get the golf club back in line with my body, since my sternum is pointed back away from the golf ball, we're gonna hit behind the golf ball every single time. So what we have to realize is that naturally, our sternum, the bottom end of my sternum needs to move gradually towards the target in this manner right here. So if I get my sternum to point past the golf ball, and if I do that same motion with the golf club, getting back in line with my body, and if I add my sternum rotation, now the low point is gonna be ahead of the golf ball, and from this position, if I rewind, 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 I'm gonna be in that forward shaft lean position that we all want. So if I do this just with my left hand, sternum moves forward, and my low point will also move forward, forward in this manner right here. So if I do it one more time, we're gonna get the golf club back in line, back in line, and from this position, if my sternum moves forward, we're gonna get that good contact every single time. One last time, we're gonna get that sternum to point forward, then we're gonna get that good contact every single time. So a great drill, even Bryson DeChambeau does this drill a lot, is we're gonna get an alignment stick and we're gonna place it around a grip length behind the golf ball. We're gonna do that same move where the golf club gets in line with our body, but our sternum needs to continue to move towards the target. It's gonna look something like this. Then we're gonna have that low point control and we're gonna really pinch the ball into the turf. Then we're gonna get that really good contact that we want. So if you guys get this motion with your lead arm only, now from this position, now we can put both hands on the golf club and make sure that my sternum continues to move forward towards the target and hopefully at impact, my sternum is gonna be pointed a little bit more ahead of the golf ball in this manner right here. So from this position, golf club just comes back in line with my body. Golf club comes back in line with my body in a straight line. And if my sternum moves forward, then we're gonna get that compression and that forward shaft lean. So don't force it. Just get that sternum to continue to move towards the target then we'll be in a really, really good position. So if you guys like the lesson video, please like and subscribe to help my channel grow. And for in-person or online lessons, I'll leave all the information in the description below. Thanks guys.